All right, so I'm with a Ford mechanic with over 20 years of experience in the business working on Ford vehicles. And we're talking about full synthetic oil. And this is a follow-up video to the video I just did where the dealership that I went to recommended that I use synthetic blend. And not only that, they insisted that using full synthetic oil would potentially cause damage to an engine that is not proven yet. And uh, it got me doing a little research and uh, talking to my Ford mechanic friend who's got 20 years experience, we're gonna explain the differences between uh, synthetic blend or conventional oil versus uh, a full synthetic oil. And he's gonna talk about whether or not he would even recommend that for a new vehicle. I think there's a lot of fear when it comes to uh, putting full synthetic oil in a brand new engine. And there's a lot of myths as well whether or not it's even uh, recommended but anyway the difference the main relevant difference between full synthetic oil and a synthetic blended oil is the molecule so if you look at the oil at, under a microscope you'll see with conventional oil the molecules are all different sizes you have big small all different sizes where when you have full synthetic oil under a microscope you have a lot more even uh, sizes of molecules so essentially what that means is the full synthetic oil will perform better because everything is the same size and these molecules essentially act like ball bearings on a molecular level between the metal surfaces so these are significantly more efficient they had they film better what do, what do you call it when they when it picks up the oil from the bottom to the top where it carries it I forget what they call that uh, but it's more it's a it's a better lubricant because all the molecules are the same size and it makes the engine measurably more efficient and uh, it tends to increase the life of the engine over a long period of time. Uh, is there anything you want to add, A Rod? We don't want to misconstrue by any means that you can't use that that kind of oil or this oil is gonna ruin your car or your vehicle or engine, whatever application you're putting it in. But it's just um, as, I don't wanna say a better peace of mind, but when it's synthetic, man, we made it to be and look like that so that it'll have you know better lubricating properties and, and so forth, like what Sean was saying. But, you know, in my professional opinion, if you're going to really run synthetic, full synthetic in, in an engine, I would recommend doing it right from the get-go. You know, I, I wouldn't say, you know, if, say you buy a vehicle that's got 50,000 miles on it, you know, it's really nice, you got a good deal on it, you know, you feel really good about it, looks great, you know, it's awesome, you know, it's going to be your garage queen. You know, you putting full synthetic in it, sure, go go right ahead. But just be mindful that though anything that's happened in the last 50,000 miles on it, yeah, I mean, it looks nice on the outside. Engine bay looks nice. Everything's nice and clean. But what this guy didn't tell you is he's only done two oil changes. Well, now you're going to be adding full synthetic in this car. And, I mean, the placebo effect. Yeah, you're going to feel good about it. But, I mean, really is, is you're doing by adding full synthetic into your vehicle going to take that 50,000 miles of non good maintained oil change intervals away? No. So you have to ask yourself a question. Judging by the vehicle, if the thing's a pile and it shouldn't be on the road, are you going to waste your money trying to get the oil, thin, the oil film in your vehicle to look like that? No, you're just going to dump some engine honey probably in it and get the thing on the road and probably have to do that in another gas tank full. So when it comes to the oil you're going to choose, obviously you're going to choose the one that you want, but more, most importantly the one that's on the oil cap because that's going to denote what viscosity you're going to use. But then the next question you're going to have to ask yourself, is it going to be worth my money putting it into the vehicle that I'm going to put it in and ultimately keep running full synthetic? It's not something you switch in between because, oh, I don't have money this time. Oh, hey, I just need the cheap stuff this time. Oh, hey, well, can I, I got a good paycheck. I need, I need uh, the full synthetic next time you get an oil change. If you're going to stick with it, stick with it. Right, right.
Yeah. Well, I think essentially what you're saying is if cost is your number one concern, then full synthetic might not be worth it for you because at the end of the day, your motor can still last a significant amount of time with just synthetic blend and you're going to pay double for full synthetic. So if you're just commuting back and forth to work, you want your engine to last, maybe you're leasing the vehicle, maybe you're just going to drive it to maybe 150,000 miles, maybe 180,000, and you're just driving normal, then synthet or, uh, synthetic blend is a good way to go because you're just going to save money and you're not an enthusiast. Now, a guy like me, I'm kind of a kind of an enthusiast. I'm like listening to the engine. I'm like feeling the throttle and things like that. And I can tell when I've got a fresh oil change. I'm not going to say necessarily I can tell if it's got full synthetic or not, but I'm like really tuned into the vehicle. So I like to run full synthetic just because I'm more of an enthusiast. Uh, but you de don't necessarily, if you're just a regular guy just driving back and forth to work, maybe full synthetic just just because it costs more is not worth it. Synthetic blend is enough. I can dig on that. I mean, there's no reason why a vehicle will not last to 200,000 miles with just synthetic blend. If you just did a whole bunch of work to your engine, like let's say you put a cam in it and a, and a blower and, you know, valve train, this, that, and the other, do you want to put wolf's head in your engine? Right. Come on. No. You're going to be putting some good stuff yeah or the really really good stuff when you have full synthetic we just don't have full synthetic and the best stuff on earth but yeah it's going to be at everybody's own discretion you I just got to ask yourself a question I think one thing to consider if you're going to switch to full synthetic if you got an old engine that's full of sludge and you can open up the oil cap and you can see all this sludge and black goop inside of your engine these ain't for you these ain't for you and I think some of the danger in doing that is the fact that some of that sludge may be sealing up some seals. And then you're going to put this in, this oil in that's really good at cleaning. You're going to loosen up a lot of different potential debris and potentially get things floating around the system that weren't floating around before, I would think. So you don't, these so oils clean really well. So in that situation, they got, you got detergents in them, really yeah, good ones. You necessarily, you might not necessarily want to use a really high end oil if you got a lot of sludge already. Maybe it's just best to put a, not even a blend, maybe a conventional oil just for the fact that you don't want to stir up things and potentially have leaks when you're, and I think, I don't think full synthetic oil causes leaks per se, but I think if your engine's plugged up with sludge, Sometimes the sludge is per, it's slowing down leaks, and then you're loosening up, loosening things up, because this oil is going to want to clean your engine. Mm -hmm. uh, one quick little story is the reason I prefer full synthetic and uh, Mobile One full synthetic, and I will use Motorcraft full synthetic. I think I think it's a good oil as well. But the reason I prefer Mobile One is because I had an old car, and I knew it was an old car, and I only ran conventional oil because I knew it was an older car but I had an issue where it would click really loud if it got cold outside the valve train didn't get enough lubrication and it was more worn out and I had a lot of lifter noise coming from the valve train and I tried everything I could to figure out what it was or what I could do but we found out it was his piston out of his 1992 Mazda Miata <laughs> what I ended up doing is I tried running mobile one full synthetic and for whatever reason, that oil, the Mobile One oil, solved the issue. I mean, it didn't fix the problem, but it had enough lubricating properties to make it from the bottom of the engine all the way to the top and kind of cushion the noise. Uh, not saying that I recommend you run it in a high mileage old engine, but that's kind of the reason why I prefer Mobile One is because it's such a better lubricant that it it was able to make an old engine kind of run better when there was no other options. But what are your thoughts on, uh, we already talked about putting full synthetic in a brand new, what are your thoughts on this whole break-in period that a lot of people worry about with these new engines? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel, in my opinion, that there is a break-in period anymore. I don't know how you can manufacture millions of vehicles and tell all these, you know, commercial vehicle companies that, you know, you can't, you can't do anything for the first thousand miles because, uh, you know, we have a, you know, we have a break-in period. 
Um, you know, you can't you can't tow or haul or uh, carry any cargo. Uh, you know, for the first five hundred right. miles, you can't go over a bumpy. No, 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 no. Right. These trucks, these vehicles, they're built. They're ready to work now. The booms, the aerial equipment, the flatbed wreckers, the garbage trucks, everything that makes the world of commerce go around, it happens right now from one mile. And using the correct oil is the only thing that's going to ensure that those trucks stay working all day, every day. Right. You mean using the right weight? Uh, Now, in my opinion, if you're towing... If you're the type of uh, guy who's towing heavy or who's running hard, I would recommend full synthetic. I use full synthetic in my vehicles, and I drive hard. Like I'm always like flooring it, just like doing power pulls. So for my work truck where it tows a lot, I'm running full synthetic as well because it's always towing. Hell yeah! But um, anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Please subscribe, share and leave a comment. Hope to hear from you soon. See you next Friday. Bye. Oh, we forgot. Check out Power Stroke Tech Talk with A-Rod. Link in the description.